Welcome back. My name is Patrick Nolan. I'm an attorney licensed in the state of Missouri. This is Pat Talks Law. Well, crazy days. I, uh, I'm on my way to a rape trial. Those are never pleasant. I have not been posting as frequently as I would like, honestly. The workload has been crushing. Um, this has to actually take a, a backseat to actually practicing law. Um, so I haven't been doing as much as I would like. But since I have an hour and a half drive ahead of me, I figured I would do a post. There has been so much going on that it is absolutely necessary. Um, I have been talking to a couple existing uh, cannabis consumer related nonprofits to see if they would like to join in a, a membership program similar to what I postulated in a previous video. Um, we've also started drawing up the work for one if that proves to be unsuccessful. Um, there is a very real concern about where things are going. As most of you know, the first appeal uh, decision is in and it was not successful. Um, the judge issued a 37 page judgment and you know we'll take a look at that possibly over the weekend and post something on it um, somewhat in depth. There are, whenever you are fighting a court case, you have to make strategic decisions. Some things you don't fight, some things you do. And when you are making those strategic decisions, you go with what you think is your strongest argument. Um, very rarely do you dump everything out. You know, keep it simple is a very important principle. So, just because you have a piece of information, you have an attack on the other side's case, doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to use it all. Otherwise, I mean, look, trials are, last forever, they're boring as hell. And you could distract the finder of fact from your main point. Um, in the Sarcoxy lawsuit, I'm not sure that the points they were challenging were the best points for them. I think that that was in part of drinking some of their own Kool-Aid. And we'll discuss that when we go through the judgment at length. But there may have been a better, um, a better legal approach. Now, this is all from benefit of hindsight. Believe me when I say this. You know, we can look at a case and say, hey, maybe you should argue this instead of what you did. And we can look at it and say that because they lost what they did. So, you know, the person who's saying it looks like they're they're a smart guy. Yeah, I don't know if I'd argued that. You lost. That probably wasn't a good choice. But that's the benefit of hindsight. One thing I can promise you is every lawyer in the other... 800 lawsuits or however many law additional lawsuits there are is 
looking at that decision and trying to gather what information they can from it so that they can fight better narrow their issues some pick up on the on the distinctions between the Sarkoxy case and their client's case and those are important issues to raise the fact that there is currently a federal case started for um, violation of the dormant commerce clause that's going to play a role in a lot of potential appeals too possibly for some of them it may be too late they might have already done all their briefing they're just waiting for arguments and to have the actual trial and if that's the case man that sucks for them but there are things that people will be able to raise and argue um, and they should now, I have somebody who's riding my ass with their high beams on, and this is actually absolutely ridiculous. I have my cruise control set. I'm not going to tell you the speed. Never confess. Um, but probably a opposing party or former opposing party kind of case. That happens to me sometimes. So... But I digress. The, the thing that they have to look at is what the judge ruled, who their judge is going forward, because Judge Joyce's opinions will be looked at not as um, controlling, but definitely as persuasive. Okay? Which may not have ruled the way the activists wanted, but her opinions are considered. She is she is a well-reasoned judge and person. So while you may believe it has the wrong outcome, when you look at the law and you look at the basis of law, it may well be a correct ruling. Now I'm not prepared while I'm driving to a trial to uh, to break down that judgment, and I'm not going to. The judgment is 37 pages, and it deserves to be looked at independently and reviewed thoroughly. So that's what we'll do. Um, but make no mistake, it is a body blow to all the people that have been running around saying they can't lose. Um, it should also be a, a point in fact that you can be right. You can believe you have the law right and still lose in court. Once you enter the courtroom, you don't have control anymore. I don't know if there was any negotiation, if there was any settlement talks or settlement agreements that could have been reached. I don't know, but once you actually try the case, control over the outcome goes to somebody else and you have no say. That's why a lot of cases are settled. Um, I don't know if any of these could be settled anymore. The lines are drawn and uh, the governor thinks he has a mandate. So, let's turn away from the lawsuit for a moment. Let's look at and discuss the very important bill that was filed in the Missouri legislature for legalization. It is not a perfect bill. It is a good one. And it is one that, by God, you need to call your congressman or your legislators, your Missouri representatives and state senators, and ask, beg, demand their support. I expect that the bill is going to have a fair bit of opposition. And you know who is going to oppose it? Mocan. The people that have cultivation licenses right now, 
people have dispensary license, they're going to oppose legalization. That will impact and affect their money making machine. There's going to be a lot of money, a lot of influence, and a lot of uh, a lot of back channeling and threatening amongst Missouri Republicans to prevent them, dissuade them, stop them from supporting a legalization bill. The problem is, is that this takes the Missouri legislator out of the decision-making process. This is the whole point of electing them. So you're going to need, if you care about Missouri medical marijuana, or Missouri marijuana legalization, you need to let your state legislature know that you support the legalization bill. And I'm sorry, I, I don't have the bill number or the the sponsor offhand. Um, I'm driving, and frankly, my memory right now is filled with stuff, facts of the trial I have coming up in an hour and a half. Um, we are at a crossroads in our society. And I don't mean greater society. God, I could do hours on the federal level. I'm talking about Missouri. We're at a crossroads in Missouri. If you are not politically active, you have no right to complain. You are a single issue voter, legalization. For example, you have little right to complain. You have to get out, you have to get active. You have to secure solid commitments from your proposed candidates. And that means you, you got to run them all. You got to get out and support the, the people running for school board because they might be running for the legislature in five, ten years. You got to get out, you got to support the people running for state legislator and city council in all the little third class cities across the state and smaller. You got to get out. You got to get active. You got to support them. You got to build that grassroots infrastructure. And if you're not going to do that, then you aren't serious. Even about your single issue, you're not serious. Those elected officials need to know that you're going to support them on all the time or most of the time, not just on one issue. If you're only supporting them on one issue and leaving them hanging in the dry, you're, you're not going to get their support. So you've got to back them. And that means backing more than just one issue. They have to know that they have a base that they can draw on. That gives the politician the political capital they need for the fights that we want. I've made no secret about it that I'm I'm a libertarian, man. Um, I have been a Republican for most of my life. Frankly, I think the Republican Party has gone off the rails. The Democrats are batshit crazy. Um, Our Republicans today are more left than our Democrats were 25 years ago. I believe in individual liberty. Now, if you're going to 
choose to break the law, there are consequences that come with that. And there are defense attorneys that can help you. Um, But at the end of the day, it's a personal responsibility issue. Society did not force you to break a law. You made that choice. At the same time, laws have to be reasonable. Okay? I, I don't like strict liability. You have to have intended to break, you know, to break the law. Um... I don't go as far as to say that all taxes are theft, because I don't believe that. I think that a population has a right to choose to impose taxes upon itself. Um, which makes it a very interesting, interesting um, and cognitively dissident intellectual discussion. You have a right to choose to tax yourself. Does that make the taxes theft? Well, yes and no. I think that our systems are flawed. We can't just simply snap our fingers and go to the perfect society because our people aren't prepared for that. So while we discuss utopian societies and, and the perfect government, which, by the way, would, in my opinion, be more like uh, the government in the book Freehold by Michael Williamson, but... That's neither here nor there. The first thing that our political leaders must look at before they're passing laws is this constitutional? Is what I'm doing constitutional? what I'm doing necessary. So, I'm going to wrap it up because I need to focus my thoughts back on my trial for this morning. But, uh, wow. Crazy. I turned 49 today. That's kind of shocking in and of itself. But honestly, when I was a kid, I never imagined I'd live this long. Well, anyway, hit like, subscribe. We'll come back. We're going to talk about the, uh, the court decision some more. Um, I still owe you a video on a user-suggested topic. I haven't forgotten that. And we need to talk about some other medical marijuana and legalization related content as well so we've got some more stuff coming but i want to get this out this morning so thank you very much and i'll be talking to you again soon